for practice it self check 5.12 print letters we are given a flawed method and it accepts a string as a parameter and it needs to print out the string however for every character there is a dash in the middle of it so if we submit this errored code we can see what's wrong with it um, and we notice that there is one more dash than there is letter for all of these so what we can do is or what we need to do is print out a letter before our for loop and then move this dash in front of this that way it will always print a dash in front of our letter and never a dash behind our letter so to start this out we can print out our first character before our for loop we'll have a system dot out dot print and in here we will have text dot char at zero because we are printing the zeroth index since we are removing an index from here and we are moving it out here we can set this i equal to one and then do char at i that will remain the same and then we can just move this um, dash in front of our text so we will have dash and then a plus. Although we're using char at right here, and it will save us from having this after dash, we do have a possibility of being passed in a string without any text. And if this were to happen, this would throw an error because it would try to get the character at this text index, but there is no character at the text index. So what we can do is actually take all of this code, move it over, and surround it with an if statement. An inner if statement, we're going to explicitly state that this is only going to run if text is not empty. So we'll have text is empty, but we will have a not operator in front of it. And if we put the correct semicolon and we run it, we can see that we have passed the test. So this is basically saying, if we didn't have this not ep operator, we would run this until text is empty. But if we have this operator, this not operator, what we're saying is as long as text is not empty. And this is the equivalent to saying um, text dot length is not equal to zero with parentheses like that. This is basically the same thing. If text.length is not equal zero, then this will be the same um, code, just in a different way. It, it means the same thing. And this is the code that will give us the following um, answers. But since we are in a while portion of the self-check problems, we can convert this for loop into a do while loop. And what we can do is for converting for loops to do while loops, first we remove the for and put do. Then we take this first part, cut it and paste it right in front of our loop. We take this last part, we cut it and we paste it as the last thing in our loop. So it'll be right here. We remove this semicolon, move these parentheses closer together. And then we take all of this right here, we cut it and then we are going to paste it right outside of our do and then put a while in front of it and then end this with a semicolon and if we submit this we can see that we do have an error we have an out of bounds error so we can look down at our error and we see that it is if we are only past one value and if we're past one value it is going to throw an out of bounds exception because we can only print this part right here and when it tries to run this and it tries to grab the next character it will not run so if we really wanted to do this as a do while loop we would also have to surround our do while loop or this next string part we would have to surround it in an in another if statement and it's going to be the same thing uh if text dot however we cannot use um if text dot is empty because we um, have at least one value in here. So it's going to have at least one value. So we will say if 
and we will need to test if our text.length is greater than one. So if there's more than one character in here, we can surround this in our block like this, and then we can resubmit it. And we also need to use parentheses because this text.length is actually a method that we're calling. And if we submit that, we can see we've passed the test. So it's definitely not advised to do a do-while loop since we need to surround it in a, no a second if statement. This outer if statement is necessary, but this if statement is not if we were to just use a for loop. However, that would be the way to convert it from a for loop to a do-while loop.